It's a desperate plea from a doctor who is feeling the toll of a pandemic nearly two years in at this point. She says this COVID wave is even more challenging for her than the first and more help is needed right now. News Force Greg Sergal goes one on one with that doctor who describes what is happening on the front lines. Here we go again. Northwell Health Dr. Evelina Graver has been part of the COVID wars now for almost two years. Back for another shift um, at work. When Dr. Graver first documented her experience for us back in April 2020, she was treating seriously ill COVID patients for up to 16 hours a day at North Shore University Hospital. You walk in and it's, it's hard for me to say, but you can actually smell fear. You smell death. This is entering into one of the COVID COVID units. Today, Dr. Graber brought us back inside the hospital where she and her colleagues are battling yet another COVID surge. We continue to protect all of our team members. This latest fight, she says, is even more challenging than the first. There's a lot of fear. There's also a lot of sort of exhaustion over the last two years because we've been doing it over and over again. This time, Dr. Graver says Omicron has sickened scores of healthcare workers, creating staff shortages that have only heightened the stress and anxiety. We're just so much more immunocompromised because of the fatigue, because of the long hours that we've been working. Dr. Graver herself experienced her second COVID illness just last month. She rushed back to work, she says, before feeling 100 percent driven by a sense of responsibility to her patients in the hospital. I did not know how physically I would be able to do it. And that to me mentally drained me to the max. Yes, I do get a little short of breath. Now Dr. Graver walks the hospital steps every day to test her post-COVID stamina. She worries about her own health and that of her families. Her teenage daughter has already had COVID, her 99-year-old grandfather died of it. I think that we just have to consider that emotional and mental um, strain a lot more. None of us have unplugged for the last two years. Hospitals need more help and staff more time off, Dr. Graber says, to make it through the long days ahead. Greg Sergel, News 4 New York.